hello friends and welcome to youtube channel freedom tech and in this session what we are going to learn in this session we are going to use yolo v10 and most easy way we can estimate the speed of vehicle so before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel okay friends thank you so much and let's get started so friends as i mentioned we are going to use yolo v10 object detection model and we are going to estimate the vehicle speed most easy way so for that i have created here a repository i will mention the link inside description box you need to simply copy paste the link inside web browser yolo v10 speed detection then go to the code click on download zip and it will download our zip format repository then open file manager and then downloads and this is what our repository right click winrar and extract as a folder name so we have our folder ready go inside the folder again we have same folder first let's just download our video file so vid.txt this is what our text file copy the link mega cloud link open web browser new tab and press control plus v from keyboard hit enter it will open our cloud link then this is what our video file and click on download it will download our video file so friends we successfully download our video file minimize all these things go to the downloads speed.mp4 this is what our video file cut go to the repository again same folder and paste our video file over here simple and let's just play the video file so here it is as you can see we have highway both side traffic going and downside so our goal is to estimate the vehicle speed so close the video file and then now first let's just install some basic packages so open tony python ide it will open our tony python ide then go to the tools manage packages open cv hyphen python hit enter open cv hyphen python first package and then click on install button done it will install opencv hyphen python then we need ultra lytics ultra lytics it's ultra ultra lytics package just click on search on pypy first package just click on install button done it will install ultra lytics so this is how we need here opencv hyphen python and ultra lytics package done just close all these things and now we are ready and we are going to open our main code so go to the file click on open and yolo track 1.py and just open file speed.py speed.py so this is what our class this is what our class we are going to call this class inside our main code so basically we are going to call our speed.py file python file inside our yolo track 1.py so how do we call another file into any another uh, python file so let's just say i want to call this speed.py in for for this scenario so i will mention from speed and import all these things so yolo uh, track 1.py here it is as you can see i have mentioned from speed import speed estimator so speed estimator is basically our class name simple that's it and then i don't have any gpu right now so i will use a nano model yolo v10 n.pt and this is what the line points so what is our condition when detected center point touch our line then we are going to estimate the vehicle speed also we are going to uh, track the id we are going to detect our object so for that we need a line coordinates so line pts is basically this coordinate this is the x y for start point of the line and this is the end point x and y coordinates simple then names means the class name we are going to call the class name from model variable so names is equal to model dot model and names and this is the speed obj this is just a variable speed obj is just a variable which represent our class which is speed estimator and inside that we want to pass our line pts reg underscore pts is equal to line pts our line coordinates and the names is equal to this names variable simple and then we because uh, we if we want to change our line coordinates so we need for that we need event mouse move function so this is what our event mouse move function 
which represent x y coordinates when you move the cursor on your frame live frame we will get the x y coordinates for drawing the line simple and then our video file then while loop and then we have our frame we are going to resize our frame and then we are going to call here a tracks variable and tracks variable is basically our model model and then dot track if you don't know how to uh, use yolo vtn for object detection so watch my previous video and then you will get the idea how to use model dot track method for detecting the object also for assigning the unique id with the help of yolo vtn so for that model dot track because we already use a model dot track method in our previous videos so model dot track and we want to pass our frame then persist and this is the classes so right now in our video we have car and truck class so car is basically two number class and truck is basically seven number class if you don't want to mention any class just remove the classes option like this way remove it it will detect all the vehicle classes simple and then im0 is just a variable is basically now speed obj speed obj is our variable speed obj and then we have estimate dot speed function inside our speed dot pi so class is basically speed estimator and inside that we have function estimated speed estimate speed so we want to call this function over here as you can see speed dot speed underscore obj not dot speed underscore obj which is our variable this one this one this one variable and then we are going to mention our estimate speed from speed dot pi this one as you can see estimate speed and we are going to pass here a frame and the tracks because inside that tracks we have all the data our track id our rectangle coordinates and all other things our class id also and then we need frame also and then it will return our frame as you can see here at the end it will return i am zero so i am zero is basically our frame with the with basically all the detection track id and speed simple so for that we want to pass our frame and the tracks and then we are going to use c 2 dot show for showing our frame that's it now i just want to mention here our video file name which is the speed dot mp4 so no problem because we already mentioned the speed dot mp4 let's just save the code and let's just start our code remember one thing friends i don't have right now gpu so if you have a gpu of course the speed estimation will change right now i don't have a gpu simple so here it is as you can see truck this is what our line when the center point of object touch the line we have speed on their top left corner on their top left corner as you can see for this car 44 km per hour 27 km per hour for this car 36 km per hour for this car 33 km per hour watch here 48 km per hour thirty six thirty three so friends this is how most easy way we can estimate the speed of vehicle as i mentioned here if i stop the code because right now i don't have gpu so i have skip here three frames here it is as you can see if you have a gpu on your machine just comment these three lines just comment it if you don't have any gpu and you need a speed just uncomment these three lines simple so this is how friends you can easily estimate the speed with the help of yolo v10 in next video we are going to detect a number plate with the speed simple so we will meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye